Hello, hello, good evening. Hello, good Aina. evening, hello. teacher. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Hello, Aida Marisol. How are you today? It's nice to see you tonight. How are you? That's that's fine. You are fine. That is great. How was your day today? Today is August. 22. August 22nd. Okay, then yes, you're right. And how was your day? How was the day? How was your day? How was your So, so. So, so, really? Okay, tomorrow will be better. So, don't worry about that. Hello, Maria Magdalena. Welcome to the class. How are you tonight? Hi, good evening. I'm great. Thanks. Oh, that is excellent. How was your day, Maria? Um, it was something difficult, but great too. Ah, okay, that is great. And hello, Ana Gabriela. Good evening. Welcome to the class. How are you tonight? Um, hello, teacher. Hello, classmate. Um, uh, sorry, repeat the question, please. How are you? Fine, I'm fine. Oh, that is excellent. Jose Blanco, welcome to the class. And Abel, and also Imelda Sumara. Good evening, be welcome to the class. So let's start with tonight's class, right? And the last class we were uh, learning places in our neighborhood. And we learned that in the, in our neighborhood there are places, right? Let's see, for example, library, the stationery store, hospital, restaurants, a drugstore, grocery store, a shopping malls, a shoes store, and a lot of other places, right? So let's see what is a landromat. Do you remember that? What's a landromat? And a laundromat uh, is a place where you wash and dry clothes. Oh, excellent. That is a laundromat. And what is a grocery store? What's a grocery store? It's a place where you can buy food. Excellent. That is a grocery store. Very good. So I can see that you remember some of the places yesterday. And also yesterday we studied preposition of place, right? To locate places in the city. Do you remember some of them? Preposition of place. Near. Far. In front of. Behind. Um, between. Next to um, close to excellent, Maria Magdalena. Yes, you list almost all of them, right? So we have between, next to, behind, in front of, across from, on, in. We studied those prepositional places yesterday. Uh, can you please translate the following sentence? You say the restaurant. Well, how do you say in English? El restaurante está a la par del ciber. The restaurant is next to ciber cafe or next to the cyber. Next to. Mm -hmm. How do you say ciber in English? Anyone remember that? In inter no, no. In inter internet. Yes, internet cafe, right? Internet cafe. That is internet the word. Cafe. So you say um, the restaurant is next to the internet cafe. Very good. How do you say el banco está en medio de el restaurante y la tienda de zapatos? How do you say that in English? Uh, 
el banco está en medio de el restaurante y la tienda de zapatos. The bank is between the, the store, the shoe store. Um, ¿Cuál es el otro? ¿Cuál dijo? El restaurante. The restaurant in, is between the shoe store and... ¿Cuál era el otro almacén? The restaurant. The restaurant. The restaurant. Excelente. It's between. So Está en medio de. Yes, between. That is the right preposition to place. That is great. So let's continue with the class. Let's continue talking about our neighborhood. So do you have complaints about your neighborhood? Complaints means quejas. Do you have complaints about your neighbors or your neighborhood? Tiene quejas de su vecindario o de sus vecinos? And you say, yes, teacher, hay muchos hoyos en la calle, there are a lot of holes there. Eh, mi vecino deja la basura por todos lados, deja sueltos los perritos. So do you have complaints? Those are complaints. Eh, do you have any complaints um, for your neighbors or your neighborhood? Not really. Ay, qué chivo, voy a conseguir casa en su vecindario, no pasa nada ahí. Yes, in my, in my neighborhood, um, it's a problem in the parking. Oh, you have problems with the parking lot. And that is another complaint, right? That is a new one, parking lots problems. Eh, María Magdalena, you have complaints about your neighborhood? Yes, my neighbor wakes up very early at maybe 3 a.m. or 4 a.m. to, um, I don't know, how can I say, um, descargar. Okay. The product. Products are from a truck? Yes. Okay, are they very noisy? Hacen mucho ruido por la mañana. Are they very noisy? Ah, yes, okay. Every day at 4 a.m. At 4 a.m. I'm sorry to hear that. So <laughs> she has a noisy problem, noisy problems in her neighborhood. And Ana Gabriela, do you have any complaint about your neighbors or neighborhood? Um, yes, in my neighborhood. Okay, you uh, see, you 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 see, Sing a loud. Sing aloud. And I don't like uh, her music. And, and so I feel stressful. Oh, okay, I'm sorry to hear that. And what about, oh, okay, Aida Marisol said uh, with the parking lot. So Ana and Maria, noisy problems and also the parking lot. And what about you, Kevin? What about your neighborhood? Do you have any problem there? Any complaints about your neighbors or neighborhood? Uh, uh, in the neighborhood, uh, for me, the problem in, 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 this, in this place, is the street uh, are so so bad for the cars? Uh, wow. Also, also uh, the the um, the uh, almost the trash, the trash, the trash too. Uh, is a lot in in the in the middle of the street. Okay, so tries, that is another complaint, right? Tries, you can see tries everywhere or a lot of 
pollution there in your neighborhood. And that is great. So tonight we're going to talk a little bit about this. We are going to see, let's see, um, some quantifier, right? Para decir si hay poco, si hay mucho de algo en su vecindario. Let's see, for example, pollution, contamination. Mm, so a few, a lot. How do, how do we say that, right? Si vamos a decir a lot, a few, a little, that is what we are going to learn tonight, right? Okay, so acabo de tomar nota de sus problemas. Ya le vamos a escribir ahí a alguien para que lo solucione. <laughs> Sería genial, ¿no? Que pudiéramos solucionar esos problemas. So let's start with tonight class. Let me share with you the presentation for tonight. And let's start with complaints, right? Let's learn some complaints that other people had about their neighbors and neighborhood. This is the topic for tonight, quantifiers, how many and how much. Here we go. So are you able to see my presentation? Yes, I see you. Oh, thank you so much. So how many and how much? Both questions mean the same, right? One, but there are um, different ways to answer this question, right? According the nouns, if the right is countable or uncountable. So welcome to the class number six, and let's start. This is the lesson object for tonight. In this session, we will take a look at quantifier to a question and get out answers. But before to go to quantifier, let's see about some common complaints about neighbors. And the first one is noise, right? Uh, my neighbor's dog parties all night. My neighbor always has low parties, right? In the case of Anna, my neighbor always has low uh, music, right? And then we have privacy. That is another complaint in the neighborhood. The kids next door always play in my yard. My neighbor visits every day. It's too much. Animal problems. My neighbor's cats go everywhere. My neighbor has six dogs. It's a zoo. Cleanlessness. My neighbor has garbage in his front yard. My neighbor never cuts the grass. So as you can see, there are common complaints. Noise, privacy, animal problems, cleanliness. So do you ever have any of these complaints in your neighbor? And then noisy, yes, right? You say, yes, I have noisy problems. And what other complaints do you have about your neighborhood? Instead of noisy, privacy, animal problems, or cleanliness, do you have any other complaint? No, really? Yeah, in, yeah. In my neighborhood, it's a problem um, to the the cat. There are a lot of cats there. A lot of cats. Yes. Ah, okay, and the cats like to stay awake in at the night, right? A los gatitos les gusta estar despiertos muy tarde o muy temprano. Okay, I'm sorry to hear that, right? Any other complaints about your neighborhood? About your neighbors or neighborhood? Privacy. Do you have a neighbor that visits you every day? Not really. Okay, now let's go with the next, uh, next conversation. It's pretty safe. Talking about this, is your neighborhood safe? Safe means seguro. And you say, yes, it is. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Okay, that is great. Yes, so, it is, Chief. Yes, it is. Okay, thank you, Claudia. Thank you, Maria. So it's pretty safe. Look at this conversation. How do you like your new apartment? She has moved to a new apartment. She say, I love it. It's downtown, so it's very convenient. Downtown, is there much noise? Oh no, there isn't any. I live on the fifth floor. How many restaurants are there near your place? 
a lot. In fact, there's an excellent Korean place just around the corner. What about parking? Well, there aren't many parking garages, but it usually finds a place on the street. Is there much crime? No, it's pretty safe. Hold on, that must be alarm. I'll call you back later. So look at this, a fifth of floor. ¿En qué piso vive esta persona? Fifth floor. Será el quinto o será el piso cincuenta? Fifth floor. Fifth floor. Fifth, quinto. Okay, it's the quinto piso. So, do you live in a house or in an apartment? An apartment. House. In a house. In a house. In a house. Okay, Jose say in an apartment. Okay, that's great. So, do you live downtown, Jose? Jose, do you live downtown? Vive en el centro de la ciudad? That is downtown, right? And um, um, it's near to the, city, to the city. Okay, that is great. So it must be convenient too, right? Like the apartment of Span. So let's see. Uh, do you have a question about the vocabulary in this conversation? Any new word there? No questions? Then listen, pay attention to the pronunciation, please. Okay. How do you like your new apartment? I love it. It's downtown, so it's very convenient. Downtown. Can, can you listen? Can you listen to the conversation? Yes, sure. yes, yes. 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 Okay, thank you so much. How do you like your new apartment? I love it. It's downtown, so it's very convenient. Downtown? Is there much noise? Oh, no, there isn't any. I live on the fifth floor. How many restaurants are there near your place? A lot. In fact, there's an excellent Korean place just around the corner. What about parking? Well, there aren't many parking garages, but I usually find a place on the street. Is there much crime? No, it's pretty safe. Hold on. That's my car alarm. I'll call you back later. So, is that a pretty safe place? No. No, right. It no. seems that it isn't safe, right? She wasn't <laughs> worried about her car. She was so worried about her car. Um, Teacher. And, yeah. What does mean hold on? Hold on is espera. Espera. Hold on. Okay. Thanks. You're welcome. So now it's please say, hold on. That's my car alarm. I call you back later. Te llamo después, verdad? Iré a ver qué pasó con mi carro. Let me see what happened with my car. So look at these uh, sentences here. Uh, is there much noise? Is there much noise? There isn't any. Uh, are there uh, near your, how many restaurants are there near your place? A lot. Muchísimos, but a lot. So let's see, what about parking? Well, there are many parking garages. Many, many parking garages. But I usually find a place in the street. And the last question, is there much crime? Is there much crime? No, it's pretty safe. Then, look at this word. Quantifier, how many and how much, right? So we use many with count nouns. And we have much with not count nouns. So we have count nouns and not count nouns. In English and in Spanish, we have nouns that we can count and nouns that we that we can't count. Let's see, for example, um, crime. Podemos contar el crimen? And mm, noun crime. No. Is this count or not count? Not count. Not count, right? No es contable. So let's see. Pollution. No. Non count. Non count. Garage. Mm -hmm. 
Calma. Não, não conta. Garage. Calma, Repas. calma. Cows, restaurant. Calma, calma. Noise. Não count. Non count, right? Then we use these quantifiers to help us to say uh, mucho, poquito, bastante. Then we use a lot to say mucho, many to para decir mucho, and much para decir mucho. Entonces, ¿cómo sabemos cuándo vamos a utilizar esas palabras y casi todas significan lo mismo? Then we are going to learn that. Are there many restaurants? This is count now. So are there many restaurants? Then we can answer, yes, there are a lot. Hay muchísimos. A lot can be used with counts and not count nouns. Then to say un poco, we use a few or a little. A few with count nouns, a little with not count nouns. Then no, there aren't many. No, no hay muchos. We use many with count nouns and we use much to not count nouns. In any, para decir no hay nada, no there aren't any. Are there many restaurants? No, there aren't any. No, no hay ningún. So we can use any with both countable, countable or uncountable nouns, count nouns or not count nouns. No, there are none. No, there's none. No, there are none. No, there's none. None can be used to say nada también. No, there, is, there are not. No, no hay ninguno. No, there are none. So the difference is that with non count nouns, we are going to use is there. No, there is none. No, there's none in this case. So how many restaurants are there? Say there are 10 or 12. If you want to answer with the numbers, you say there are 10 or 12, there are two or three, there are four or five. Then how much with not count nouns, how much crime is there? There's a lot of street crime. Hay muchísimo, ¿verdad? Then let's listen to these examples. How many and how much? Count nouns. Are there many restaurants? Yes, there are a lot. Yes, there are a few. No, there aren't many. No, there aren't any. No, there are none. How many restaurants are there? There are 10 or 12. Non-count nouns. Is there much crime? Yes, there's a lot. Yes, there's a little. No, there isn't much. No, there isn't any. No, there's none. How much crime is there? There's a lot of street crime. We How many? Okay, so look at this. And we have divided his the quantifier with count nouns. We use the following quantifiers. A lot, a few, many, any, and none. With non count quantifier, we have to use a lot, a little, much, any, and there is none. Okay, do you have any question about this? Any question? Thank you. So if you want to say mucho, you say a lot. Or muchísimo, a lot. Un poco, a few. If it is a count noun, you say a few. If it is a non-count noun, a little. There is a little. There is a few. There are a few. Many or much. Many with count nouns and no count with much. And any, right, in negative sentences, ninguno, and none is possible to use. It. So let's practice this. Are there many apartment buildings in your neighborhood? Then you say, there are a lot. Si hay muchísimos. There are a few. Si hay pocos. Because apartment buildings are countable or count now then you say there are a lot there are a few there are many there aren't any or there are none how much traffic is there can we count the traffic no 
No, we can't, right? So how much then, how much a lot traffic of... is there? Then you say, there is a lot. There is a little. There, there is, is a lot. There is a lot of traffic. Yes. Okay. So In Soyapango, there... there is a lot. Oh, yes. There is a lot of traffic there. In the, on the Boulevard del Ejército every day, right? In yes. the morning and in the afternoon too. So how many dance clubs are there? Dance club is countable, a count noun. So you can use a lot, a few, many, any, or and none. Then, uh, there aren't any. Um, there aren't any? Okay, excellent answer. There, there aren't any. Very good. Is there much noise in your neighborhood? Then you say noise. Oh, noise is a no count, a no count noun. So I can use a lot, a little, much, any, or none. Is there much noise there in your neighborhood? There is a lot. Here there is a little. There is a little. There is a lot. Very good. Are there many pay phones? Pay phone is a countable noun. So I can use in this case a lot, a few, yeah. many, any, yeah. or none. Are there many pay phones in your neighborhood? No, any. Then you say there aren't any. There aren't any. There aren't any, okay. Very good. Or oh, there are none. No, any there one. Are. There are none. Is there much pollution in your neighborhood? Yes, there, there is a lot. There is a lot, very good. Pollution is non-count, right? Then, si hay muchísimo, a lot. Si hay mucho, much. Si hay poco, a few or a little. That's a little. Okay, very good to say. There is a little pollution. There is a little pollution. Then how many swimming pools are there in your neighborhood? How many swimming pools are there in your neighborhood? There are none. There aren't any. Okay. There so aren't there, any. There, there aren't, aren't any. And the last one is there much parking? There are a lot. Oh, really? There are a few. There are, mm. there are a few. There are a few. In, in this case, parking is parqueo. Parqueo. So, if we say parking lot, serían parqueos. But if we say parking, is, sería incontable. It's a, sería a little parking place. Okay. Oh, okay. Very good. So, write question like those in part A about this topic. Then ask and answer the question. Let's see, cafes, for example. Are there many cafes in your neighborhood? Yes, they. Yes, they. There is a countable. Yes, we can count this because it's a place, it's like cafes. Okay, yes. There are. <laughs> no. Any. Mm, no, it's many. many, but it's many. Many, yeah. Many. Yeah, there are many. Si hay mucho. Yeah, there are many. So yes, what about many. crime? Is there much crime in your neighborhood? That's a name. No, there's not. <laughs> there is a... There is yeah. a... Um, little... Then you say there is a little crime, there is a little crime, there isn't any crime, there isn't any crime. There is no. For me, no, there is none. Okay, no, there's none. Very good things. What about parks? How many parks are there in your neighborhood? Yes, the, yes there are, yes, there are lots. There are, oh, a lot yes, of, there, are. there are a lot of parks. 
Yeah. Very good. And what about pollution? Is there much pollution? Is there a few? There is a lot. There is a lot. There is a few. Are you sure there is a few pollution? There is a few. <laughs> there is there a is. few. Are you sure? There's, there is a lot. In Soyapango, <laughs> there are many. Very much. <laughs> Many, many industries. Okay, there are many factories there. Yes, you're right. So it's the yes. small, right? Mm -hmm. Probably is yes. the most uh, common pollution there, small. So let's see. Uh, BAS, you're right, very good sentences, but pollution is an account noun, right? No counts, are uncountable noun. So we need to use a little. So there is a little pollution. There is a little pollution. There isn't any pollution. There is a lot of pollution. And what about public transportation? How much there public transportation is there in your neighborhood? There are a lot. There, there are a lot. There are a lot. Okay, that is excellent. What about schools? How many schools are there in your neighborhood? Yes, there are a lot. There are a few. There are a few. Uh, yeah. Okay, traffic lights. That is the last one. Semaphorous traffic lights. Uh, are there traffic lights in your neighborhood? There is a the, lot. There, there are is a little. many. There are okay. none. There is a little. Okay, you say there is, uh, in this case of traffic lights, so contables. We can count traffic lights. Then a few. Uh, there, are, there are many there are many there are a few uh, there are a few okay very good so let's see pay attention to this here in this part when we say are there many apartment buildings we can answer yes there are a lot yes there are many when we have how much traffic is there then we uh, no necessarily decir yes or no right so let's see la respuesta how much traffic is there then you say, uh, there is, there is a little, there is a lot, there is much. When we have WH word, no tenemos que decir yes right, or no. Solo decimos la respuesta. Cuando es um, yes, no question, que comienza con el verbo to be, entonces sí decimos yes. So is there much noise? You say, yes, there is a lot noise. Yes, there is a little noise. Oh, no, there isn't any noise. Are there many payphones? Say, no, there aren't any payphones. Is there much pollution? Yes, there is uh, much. How many swimming pools are there? Then you say, there are. Esta no es una yes no question, entonces respondo de una vez. There are eh, two swimming pools. Is there much parking? No, there isn't any parking. Okay, so let's practice in this part. So how many groceries stores are in this neighborhood? How many? How many grocery stores are there in this neighborhood? There is, there is a few, there is a few. There's few. any. There is a few, yes. Ah, unas pocas. But you have to say there are, are there, how many grocery stores are there? Then you say there are a few, there are a few, hay unas pocas. Eh, si las podemos okay. contar. One, two, two, but then we have two. two. Mm -hmm. Then you say there are two grocery stores. Very good. Is there a hospital in this neighborhood? Is there a hospital in this neighborhood? No, there are no. any. No, there are any. No, there are no, there are. No, there are none. 
Okay. Uh, there is none. Repeat the okay. question. Is there a hospital in this neighborhood? Hospital. Uh, no, there. No, no, there are none. No, there is isn't. No, there is No, there is. No, there is none. Okay. No, oh, there is none. No, there is none. Yes. No, there's none. Very good. Now let's go with the next one. Uh, are there? Are there many parks in this neighborhood? Are there many parks in this neighborhood? Yes. Yes, there is one. There is, there yeah. is one also. There is any. No, there is one. Let's see. Mm, there are many? No, there is just one. You can say that, right? Okay, very good. So let's continue with this. Come, let's help me to complete the following sentences. We are going to use much or many to complete the sentences. So number one, there is noise. Do I need much or many much. to complete the sentence? There is much noise. There is much. Okay, yes, you're right. Congratulations, that is the right answer. There is much noise. And second, there are a restaurant. Much or many to complete the sentence? Many. 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 There are many. There are many restaurants. Awesome. You are doing great. Number three, there is crime. Much or many? Much. Much. Uh, much. Uh, a lot. There is much. There okay, is, there is uh, much crime. There is much crime. Crime. There is traffic. Much or many to complete the sentence? Much. 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 There is much traffic. Amazing, that is the right answer, things. Number five, there are? Many apartment buildings. Many, many is the word that I need to complete. Any volunteer to read these five examples, please? Thank you, Aida Malisol. Very good, I can see that you can participate tonight. Okay. There is, okay, yo lo voy a leer. Yes, please. Okay, okay. There is much noise. There are many restaurants. There is much crime. There is much traffic. There are many apartment buildings. Thank you very much. Excellent. There is much noise. Very good. And the last volunteer to read these five examples using much or many. Ana Gabriela, thank you. Okay, there is much noise, there are many restaurants, there is much crime, there is much traffic, there are many apartment buildings. Thank you. Excellent job. Thank you so much. Then let's see, why do I need to use much in the first one? Why much and not many? Is a riddle. No, 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 Excellent it's answer. It, noise is a non count noun phrase. So I need to use much. Very good. Let's go with the next. Complete using a few or a little in the following sentences. A few or a little. Few or a little. A little pollution. Let's little see. Pollution. Number one. There is a little pollution, yes. Second, there are a few. A few. A few. A few shopping centers. It's perfect. Number three. A few. A few. There are a few schools in this neighborhood. Number four. There is a little. There is, there is a, a little, little traffic. traffic. And number five. Mm -hmm. traffic there are a few, few traffic lights. There are a few traffic lights in the city. Excellent. Any volunteer to answer, sorry, to read these five examples. Thank you, Kevin. Mm -hmm. Okay. There is a little pollution. There are a few shopping centers. There are a few schools in this neighborhood. There is a little traffic. 
there are a few traffic lights in the city. Excellent pronunciation. Thank you so much. Abel, can you please? Okay. There is a little pollution. There are a few shopping centers. There are a few schools in the neighborhood. There is a little traffic. There are a few traffic lights in the sorry city. I in don't the see city. the words. Okay. In the city, yes. Anyone? The last volunteer to practice in this part. Uh, me. Thank you, Jose. Let's do it. Okay. Uh, there is a little pollution. There are a few shopping centers. There are a few schools in this neighborhood. There is a little traffic. Uh, there are a few traffic lights in the city. Thank you. Then let's go with the last exercise. Um, oh, I didn't see who. Xiomara, do you have a question or do you want to participate? Xiomara, can you listen to me? Hello, Xiomara. Do you have a question or do you want to participate? I can't listen to you, Xiomara. Xiomara, hello. Well, I can listen here. Let's go then with the last exercise. Well, it seems that she has some problem with her microphone. And probably she can participate in the next exercise. So let's see, complete using, uh, using any or adding any in the following sentences. Can you help me to solve number one, please? There are taxes hey, in this part of the... Adding it. Adding There aren't any. Yes, you're right. There aren't any. No matter say no secret fast. Activate your mic. Um well um so Mara, if you want you can uh get out of the meeting and try to enter again. Probably that will solve your problem with your microphone. So the first one, yes, it is. There aren't any taxes in this part of the town. And the second one? There isn't any. There isn't any traffic. Number three. There aren't any. Oh. There isn't any it's public transportation. And number four, parking spaces. There aren't any. There isn't any. There aren't any there are in any parking spaces. And number five, there isn't any. There isn't any crime. Nice, nice answer. Any volunteer to practice reading these of five sentences? Me. Thank you, Abel Isaias. Can you please start? There aren't any taxes in the park. There isn't any traffic. There isn't any public transportation after 9 o'clock p.m. Uh, there aren't any parking spaces. There isn't any kind. Very good. The last volunteer to practice this. Can I? Really? Okay, Claudia, thank you. There aren't any taxis in this part of town. There isn't any traffic. There isn't any public transportation after 9 p.m. 
There aren't any parking spaces. There isn't any crime. Perfect. Thank you so much, Abel. Thank you, Claudia. Uh, do I have any other volunteer? Me? Thank you, Maria Magdalena. Can you please read these five sentences? There aren't any taxis in the part of town. There isn't any traffic. There isn't any public transportation after 9 p.m. There aren't any parking spaces. There isn't any crime. Okay, excellent. Thank you very much. Very good pronunciation. Now it's your turn to practice this. Okay, following these examples, you are going to describe your neighborhood. You are going to tell me about pollution, about school, shopping center, traffic, and restaurants, noise, crime, apartment buildings eh, in your neighborhood. So you're going to use this structure. There is much noise. There is a little noise. There is a lot of noise. There are many restaurants. There aren't any restaurant. There are a lot of restaurants. There are a few restaurants. Okay, so you have to tell me at least five sentences describing your neighborhood. Are you ready? Tell me uh, five sentences describing your neighborhood. Using this, a little, a few, many, much, a lot. You can use a lot too. You can follow this example. I will give you two minutes for you to get ready. Two minutes is okay? Or do you need more time to get ready for this activity? More time, teacher. Oh, do you need more time? Two minutes. Two minutes more? Okay, I will give you three minutes for you to get ready. Four. Four minutes. Okay, tres y medio. Vale. Three and a half. So you can start with noise, for example, noise, pollutions, pollutions, pollution. So you say parking space, parking space, trash. Trash. Trash is countable or uncountable? Uncountable. uncountable. That is a countable noun. Very good. And then you can go with places like restaurants, cafes, schools, church. Grocery stores. You still have three minutes or two minutes, sorry. Is someone ready to start? Yes, I am ready. Yes. Oh, okay, Ana Gabriela, let's start. Let's listen to Ana Gabriela, please. Okay, in my neighborhood, there is a much noise. There are many grocery stores. There are a few bakeries, and there are a lot 
evangelical uh, no, church, and there is much traffic at 6 p.m. That's all. Thank you. Very good sentences. Christian church, Catholic church, and Christian churches. Okay, okay, very good sentence. Oh, and you say there are. Uh, can you please repeat your first sentence, Anna? In my neighborhood, there is much noise. Mm, there is much noise. Okay, yes, that is excellent. Recuerda haber escuchado una A. There is a much noise. Much noise. Okay, sin esa A, ¿verdad? There is much yes. noise. There is much noise. Thank you, very good sentences. Congratulations, Anna. You did it. So, anyone is ready? Who wants to continue? Uh, me. Thank you, Jose. Let's listen to Jose. Okay. Uh, in my neighborhood, there are a few, there are a few parking lots. Uh, in my neighborhood, there is, there is a little parking. There is a little parking. In my neighborhood, there are a few cats. In my neighborhood, there is uh, much traffic. Okay, again, now, the last one, your last sentence. Jose, can you please repeat your last sentence? Excuse me, teacher. What about the last one? The last one? The uh, one? Okay, there is a uh, much. Uh, oh, okay. much traffic. Sin la. There is a much traffic. Yes. Oh, okay. There is much traffic. Much. There is, there is much traffic. Okay. Thank you, Jose. Excellent. Thank you for your sentence. Right. You did it too. That is great. Congratulations. Uh, who's next? Anyone? Me. Thank you, Aida. In my neighborhood, there is any public transportation after 9 p.m. Next sentence. Uh, there are a few shopping centers. There are a few schools in the neighborhood. There aren't any taxes in the part of town. There is any traffic in my neighborhood. Oh, thank you so much. Very good sentences. You say in the first one, there isn't any in the there first isn't one? any the first any there isn't any, any transportation. No, and there isn't any transportation public after 9 p.m. Excellent sentence. There isn't any public transportation. Public first and then transportation. There isn't any public transportation after 9 p.m. Very good sentence. Thank you. Thank you so much, Aida. You did it too. How oh, can you see? This is easy. Uh, anyone who wants to continue? I want to participate, teacher. Thank you so much, Claudia. You can start. Good. Okay. In my neighborhood, there is much noise. There are a lot of pollution. There are a few parking space. There are a lot of pupuserias. And there are a few parks. Excellent sentences. You did great. Thank you, Claudia. Congratulations. Excellent sentences. Who's next? Me, teacher. Kevin, thank you so much. Let's do it, Kevin. Okay. Um, in my neighborhood, there is much houses. 
there are a few park. There are a lot of pets. Um, there is a uh, one river. There are a uh, lot grocery stores. Okay, very good sentences. In the first one, you say there are much houses or there are many houses. Oh yes. Uh, uh, also, many, many, many. It's, okay, excellent. It's right, many. It's right. It's right. There are many houses. The, the rest was okay. Very good. So there is a river there. Can we swim on that river? Yes, it's the um como, como es que se llama? Uh, Asel no? Water River. Yes. Oh, <laughs> we can do swimming in that river, right? <laughs> okay, thank you, Kevin, for your sentences. Very good job. So many, right? Is the noun is countable. We use many, okay? like the first example of Kevin, the, there are many houses. Very good job. Thank you, anyone? One, two, three. Great teacher. Thank you, Jose Daniel. Uh, in my neighborhood, uh, there are many trees. Uh, there are many parrots. There are futures. Uh, there are some malls. Uh, there are many buses. Excellent sentence. Thank you. Okay, Jose Daniel. Excellent participation. You did a great job. Excellent sentences. Very good pronunciation. Very good fluency. Thank you so much. Let's see who is going to continue. We still have Alfredo, Maria Magdalena, and Imelda Xiomara. Uh, me, teacher. Actually, sir, uh, I was not paying attention, sir. Uh, I mean, I, I, I'm, I was working, sir. So that's why I was paying. I was not paying attention. Okay, I understand, Alfredo. Don't worry. So you can watch the video again, or you can watch the video on the platform. Okay. Thank you, sir. I will do. Okay, very good. I really appreciate your honesty. And Maria Magdalena, are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Tell me, please. In my, okay, in my neighborhood, there is a lot of nice. There are many schools. There are a few of uh, Catholic church. There are many parkings. And there is much traffic at 7 a.m. every day. Okay, very good sentences. Thank you so much. Okay. So um, that's all for today. So do you have any questions about this topic? How to use a little, a few, any, some, many, and much, and a lot? Do you have any question? No question? Okay, Um, just let me to no. remind you about the platform exercises. Uh, for today, you receive an, a message, right? A text message in our WhatsApp group about the program, right? About the schedule of the weeks, right? On the platform, the section on the platform. So for this week, you have to be working on section number three. And also during this week, you have to take the um, midterm exam. So are you working on the platform? That is my question before to finish this class. Are you working on the platform exercises? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes, teacher. In, in which yes. section are you working? Can you please tell me? Mama, yes. Third, number three. Two section. Two sections. In my case, teacher, in the two section. Section in my two. case, in my case session is a meter exam. Meter exam, that is great. So don't forget, okay, teacher. Don't forget. Don't forget. This. Sorry. Tell me, Abel. Go ahead. I'm sorry because this is I had very difficult to work in the section. I am the first. I don't work the second section. 
Mm, okay, but you can do it, right? You still can complete the section number two and section number three, right? Remember that for this week, we need to complete section three and to take the meter exam, okay? So, and if you have time, you can continue working in the next section, okay? Puede adelantar en la plataforma, no hay ningún problema. Si la pueden terminar, ¿verdad? Antes del tiempo establecido, no hay ningún problema. Pero sí es importante que vayamos completando los ejercicios en la plataforma, okay? Thank you so much for your attention and your participation for tonight's class. You did an excellent job. Thank you. So, see you tomorrow at 8 o'clock. Bye, bye, guys. Bye. 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 Bye.